Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Necrophages on Endless. Apparently a lot of stuff is transpiring very rapidly here. Uh, Himun is being spied upon. We're taking, what's going, a red army, yes, this red army, that's right. Uh, what an unfortunate time to have that, uh, that bug crop up with the enemy armies getting free extra move. Uh, and also, <laughs> we're being attacked by Harmonite, right. I was just making fun of Red for never having pacified this village, and uh, I should maybe pacify that village real quick. As much as I would like for you to do so many other things, maybe that's uh, what you have to do next turn. Okay, so we're going to get into position to attack these guys as quickly as possible on the coming turn. Yeah, and we'll mash right-click on this uh, and turn this back on. Okay, let's move on. So, Kairos needs to get to level 9 for us to continue our faction quest. He's governing Chaisas, and it is true that we're going to build stuff in Chaisas, and there's going to be a large garrison there. But maybe it would be better to move Kairos to an army, you know? Maybe, like, assign him to this army... Uh, feed the extras out of this army into his, you know, I think that's probably better. Let's go ahead and pull him over. How is his gear? When was the last time he was in an army? So it's been a little, not too long. You can upgrade him real quick, though. And your army gets the same considerations as everybody else's, because you're a real general, I swear. We're a little short titanium for his equipment. Yeah, we can afford to buy five titanium. Just to get him equipped right now so I don't have to worry about it again. Because uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have a habit of forgetting things. Like as soon as, <laughs> as, soon as my mind moves off of them, basically. Okay. Oh, and cities need orders and stuff. Man, we have so many cities that need so many things done. Right, what's the story with Himun? Himun is... We don't really have the resources to build a lot of the stuff that actually needs building. I'm gonna buy ten more titanium, actually. Because it would be really nice to have an advanced alchemy lab in this city. It has a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of districts. Where else? Tour all. Brand new cities. Gotta build food. And of course, Troll will lose population next turn. So let's throw them a big pile of corpses. Because you know how people love that. Okay. We have to zoom in pretty far in order to be able to execute this correctly because of the city uh, nameplate covering these guys up on the zoomed out map. Come on. They've disappeared. Alright, so uh, let's make sure everything is taken care of. Laris can build more borough streets and will. Uh, Morris definitely could afford to. And then we'll get the we'll get the luxury intensifier and build it. It'll uh, help the city out tremendously. Okay, now let's resolve the battle. So first of all, this thing down here. Uh, let's manual this because I want to make sure we get as much proliferation as possible. We want to fill up Karis's army because commanders get more uh, passive XP per turn when they're... Uh, yeah, you get him and you get him. Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. Go for him. Yeah, they get more XP per turn when their army has more units in it. It would be really cool if we could get a 
Oh, I was about to say it'd be really cool if we could get a Battleborn out of each one of these guys. Looks like that's not actually going to happen. So our hero is... Actually, all of our units are getting remarkably good at murdering all of a sudden. Alright, so we get the Parasite there. We will get one from these guys. Also, if you are a person who is a little bit grossed out by all of the buggy army noises that the necrophages make, I want you to know you are not alone. I too am grossed out by that. Alright guys, do your best. I don't know that we're going to be able to get um, good parasite coverage on these guys just because of the ranges involved. Well, looks like maybe. The way our units are moving, they are opening up significant holes. Yeah, we got them. Cool. So that's four Battleborn. Assuming, of course, that this guy does not manage to somehow hold out for four rounds. Seems fairly unlikely. I know these battles are a little bit tedious. Um, we're not making a lot of really interesting decisions. We're basically just here to make sure the AI doesn't squander our advantages. And that's not the most exciting thing in the world to watch, so I apologize for that. Uh, so how much XP did we get from that battle? Yeah, 32 XP per unit. So yeah, Karis is leveling up already. I think this is the right decision. Uh, so this army needs to lose one, two, three, four, five, six guys. Oh, they have zero move. Okay, well, we'll, we'll fix that in a moment. Um, Karis, yeah, pick up winter immunity. That makes sense. Gonna need to move this army around in the winter. Uh, these guys, there's no reason to get fancy with it. So we just got another corpse stockpile and a half. Who is losing food right now? Maribond and Tural. It's going to hit Toral first, so we'll give them the stockpile. Alright, and how's the, um, how's the capital doing? It's almost finished that Necrodrone. We're getting our armies of, uh, guys together. So, actually, I've been sort of, I was talking about moving up and then moving my armies this way to deal with guys. But actually, we're pretty sure Red is to our east, right? Red's initial location is to our east. Because didn't they come down and then spread west? Like, their border was visible to us as it was creeping westward. So I think, actually, we maybe want to go east. If we can't get Karis to level 9 in a reasonable amount of time, and he did, like, just hit 7, didn't he? No, I'm sorry, he just hit 6. Yeah, that's pretty much off the table. There's no way he's getting where he's going in time. Um, supremacy victory. I think I said that already. It's been a little while since I recorded the last episode. Um, so... Let us... We also have to deal with this. You need to move this way. Alright, let's be ready for these guys. Once we take Red's um, capital, we can sue for peace. And hopefully not have to worry about them anymore. I'm sure that they will be willing to, uh, to go for peace. Continuing to fight us would be foolish in the extreme. Build a plow factory in Tural to get a small amount of influence. Sure. The red sang ran out. I don't really care about that. Let's just keep walking these guys up the trees. We're kind of not that invested. Uh, <laughs> at this point in what our cities are doing. I might even want to automate them. I've never... Sh oh my god, yeah. We're going to have to issue so many orders per turn if we don't automate. I haven't shown the automation off very much because, uh, surprise, the automation AI is not great in the same sense that the AI um, governors are... The, the governors of AI cities are not great. They, they don't make the best decisions. In particular, they're not great at placing burrows. Uh, just not really thinking ahead. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Well, I was thinking we might have been able to get these guys in range, get some XP, because you do get XP even on a retreat, if I'm not mistaken. But it'll be fine, whatever. 
Uh, I can't count, apparently. There we go. Sukaris is now on 8 XP per turn, plus we're going to get him in a bunch of fights. So let's... What is, what is this? Okay, purple has half the regions, sure. Half the regions required for their thingy. So let's start moving these forces. Honestly, we have an, a big enough army that we could probably split it into two forces and have one go left and one go right. Uh, I assume they're going to retreat. Yeah. Yeah, we get significant XP on retreats. Okay, so Dynedge... Dynedge has its important stuff done. Um, one of the reasons that you have to be a little bit careful with automation is that the AI's burrow placement problem isn't just a non-optimal problem, it's a, like, potentially happiness-ruining problem, right? They don't build the burrows in the right places and then those burrows start messing with city happiness because they have a, an approval penalty and then things can get bad. Well, Scathalon should definitely start building a triangle and there's really only one way that it can be done due to the presence of the borders and the positioning of stuff. So we're going to just triangle out like this right quick. Actually, you know what? A lot of these cities could come off of industry and back to science. We do need to push science at least until we have access to the better weapons. Uh, so you, let's move you to science now and start building. I mean, we could go for more burrows. We don't actually have a lot of population, though. We don't have enough to make another big shape. Uh, and it takes forever to produce units. No, just do the garrison full of orcs thing, actually. Because I do think that that's valuable. We're going to end up going to war with purple, almost certainly. And when we do, I want to be able to uh, potentially retrofit a lot of guys in great, uh, great haste. Another thing that we have to think about is obviously our dust income, since I'm planning to retrofit guys in great haste. Um, let's let's focus on getting to this tech first, and then we're probably going to switch a lot of our cities over to dust. Because I don't think a science victory is really in the cards for us. You know what, Turl? A plow factory for you. And actually, what is the shape of this? Why is this city shaped like this? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Build a burrow over here. A lot of these cities don't even really have enough people for the, uh, the citizens all on industry to make a very large difference. Actually, this city in particular is one that's going to maybe need a garrison. Okay. Alright, so this is... Is this the last tech? Does this push us into the next era? I don't remember. Right, summer occurs. Let's try to get Karis in range before the fight. No luck. For some reason, red initiated. Ah, red initiated because they saw an opportunity to start the fight with a smaller army. That makes sense. That's not a that's not a crazy thing to do at all. So, if red's capital is actually probably over here, we want to swing one of these forces in that direction. I guess it can be these guys. Karis and, uh, and the other one. And you guys can just go westward and try to be a problem for them. We don't even necessarily need to take the cities, we just need to stop armies from getting out. Okay, Fudoro has a ton of guys in it, but not that much fortification. And I don't like purple running guardians across my border, but, um... Obviously, they're here for the purpose of pushing red. I don't know that I want purple taking cities on the other side of me, though. 
Yeah, what the hell? Keep going. Those level 2 districts, man. Alright, so we're good there. How many more? We need one more tech. Well, a food tech seems a little outlandish, all things considered. We're not really producing our resources at a rate that will allow us to take advantage of a food tech, even if we get it. So we could go back and get something else. Maybe we should get this. Yeah, let's pick up plus security. Because we're starting to get spied on, and it will make me feel better. Now there's an army that has movement points left. That's probably a weird thing with them mo with this army moving over that army while while the other one was in motion. I didn't pacify the village. That'll be fine. I'm gonna fan out here. Yeah, we're getting espionaged hard. Cowards. And we found 40 Dust Orchid. That's not enough to pop a booster of. But, uh, wow, my approval value is really in the toilet. So what's up? It's decreased population in a couple of different cities. Yep. We probably want to get a spy into Purple's territory. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, let's, let's have this army swing sort of this way. And spy on, get us, well, hire a spy. We have a ton of dust. Drop him in Purple's territory. Maybe perform the counter spy action. Or maybe even um, do a vision steal. Maybe one than the other, even. Because uh, I have no idea where Purple's capital is, obviously, but we could fix that. Come on, you move. Yeah, I think we're not going to attack at this turn. That's a little too much fortification, all things considered. Our Battleborn aren't that good. Man, our cities are really, really getting through those orders quickly. Focus on science. Let's get stuff done. I don't suppose a science victory is technically impossible, uh, particularly if we can get Red to give us some tech in exchange for a truce, but it's not likely. The other players probably just have too much of a lead. Okay. Alright, are you seriously trying to make me turn around and fight you? Alright. Fine. Go. It's weird how sometimes when you uh, let go of right click, it draws the path but doesn't actually move, even if the unit does have a bunch of movement left. Alright, so let's hire a spy. Hopefully there's a forgotten on the market. Uh, there are two of the same forgotten on the market, in fact. This one is higher level and costs more accordingly. A lot more. Already has some stat points in the right places. Already has some real equipment. Yeah, this is somebody's sold hero. This one is half that price. Yeah, we're going with the half price one. It's only one level difference. Uh, so let's real quick... Uh, do this. And then... There's a trinket that gives extra espionage points every or every infiltration points every turn, and I don't remember what it's made out of or what tier it appears in. So let's just quickly make sure that we don't have it already. Yeah, it looks like we don't. Okay. Get out there. I don't know exactly what we're going to have you do just yet, but this has to be a good idea. All right, and then we'll head up to Red. Yeah, if Red loses their capital, it's just really awesome purple in the game. Uh, I'm not really sure how good purple's armies are. 
I do see they're numerous. That's certainly the case. 81 attack, 92 damage. They have a, quite a bit of health. But that really seems to be all that they have going for them. Howdy. Can't help but notice that you are in my stuff. Only 25. Only 25 XP per unit. Terrible. Oh, we lost a Necro Drone. What are you doing, fella? Making me nervous, that's what he's doing. There's a winter coming, and also I sort of just don't care what happens with my city heroes at this point in the game. It's not the most relevant, because uh, this game is going to be decided probably, honestly, not just militarily, but largely with the armies that are already out. So even uh, even production capacity may not really factor into it that much. Ea's arm. It is a big two-handed sword, but its stats aren't really that good. 21 attack, 24 damage. That's a pretty old school weapon. That'd be really cool early in the game. Uh, which way do I want to go? Do I want to take Yunarin, or do we want to take whatever this is? Let's scout a little bit. Because Fudoro has a great location to build a strategic uh, intensifier immediately. In fact, let's let's buy that out. Let's get that up. Belloc has a thing we like. It doesn't look like Yunarin uh, is has any really cool stuff visible yet. Right, so let's see what's up here. I feel pretty confident, based on the way Red expanded, that their capital is one of these regions over here, I think. Oh, hey, Titan Bones. Cool. How about buying luxuries? We do have a lot of dust. Uh, wow, there's actually... There's not a lot of luxuries that have a lot... You know what? The other empires are not using the marketplace, right? Because they're all dead. <laughs> well, we have all this stockpile tax now. Do I want to... There's literally no reason not to use... to buy and use all these science stockpiles, right? Since we have the, uh, the tax that makes stockpiles better. Just bang out a couple of technologies real quick. And who is small yet? You have falling food values. Oh, you're the new city, right. They're going to need a little food push. Uh, then you have six pop. And you have eight. Oh, I didn't note the name. I, which which one of these two did I just give <laughs> food to? Well, we'll give you food. Whatever. It's fine. It doesn't actually matter that much. Yeah, we just stay put here. <laughs> And Misson, oh, Misson needs to build districts. I'd love to go Abbey of Anomalies on this, but um, we're really pearls, uh, pearl light. We need 14 more pearls just to be able to build our first luxury intensifier. Given the amount of territory we have, it's kind of surprising how, how poorly we're doing on pearls. Really just have not gathered a lot. Right, we're getting diplomatic messages. We completed that quest. Cool. Purple's like, hey, we got friends. Oh, Red wants to stop fighting. Red would love it if we could stop fighting. Yep, yeah, Purple's all spying on us. That's not, uh, that's not really new information. So I don't think I care about this city too much. Let's go, let's go get Belloc. Turn you around and advance you in this direction. Red might come in uh, through the southern border here, and if it happens, it happens. And if they take Fedora, we will take it back. Redalta is a large city, but not the capital. Well, let's take it, though. It doesn't actually seem to have a lot of valuable stuff, but 
like I said, I feel pretty confident that their capital's in that direction. So let's just get on this. Wow, this must have been a pretty new city. Also, they did not do a good job with, uh... with selecting how to build their city. Although I guess the region's small and kind of oddly shaped. The mountains are in a really inconvenient place. Oh, whatever. It's all good. Okay, so we have a little bit of science coming at us very suddenly here. Uh, I guess we could pick up living lab tools. If we were going to at least make a feint at a science victory, this would be a good way to do it. Or we could even, even if we get into the last era, we could just get serum. I talk in my military games about getting serum sometimes, and then it doesn't end up materializing because it takes too long. But it's a possibility here. I'm gonna get the ruin. So we do still need units. Um, I guess this guy can can start heading up there. Yeah, our approval ratings will be tremendously helped by actually finishing the construction of our cities. We need these. We need these approval positive shapes because we're having a, a hell of a time right now. This city is even. It's only happy. Jeez. We have a lot of expansion disapproval. Isn't there a tech in this era for that? No. I could have sworn. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, we could get Arts Council, which gives 30 approval. Actually, that's probably next. Because we may just need the 30 approval. Uh, we could start building burrows here, too, actually. Let's do this. The city's fervent already, so maybe it's not that big a deal. Alright, well, we have lots of things to keep doing here. I guess we're going to... We're going to head up into Redalta and take it. There's a temptation to just rush, but it's actually pretty dangerous. Even if you are in control of the situation, it can be pretty dangerous to just run past cities. <sighs> Defeat the Avenging Army. We do get 40 Hyperium, actually. I'm making noises like, oh, what a dumb thing, but actually I'm, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> We now have 10 units, which is too many. Let's just go ahead and shove two of them out the side here. These guys can start to weed up. Alright, and begin the slow process of sieging a city of this size. Right, two turns till Arts Council. Where's that necro drone? We just need to <laughs> keep heading up here. Look at them go. Alright, so the answer to the uh, to the problem of pearls is probably to shoot some of these orcs out of their garrisoned uh, cities and start scooping up. We have a lot of pearls sitting around, actually. I really wish there was a button you could press, like auto explore. I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but I uh, wish there was a button you could press, like auto explore, that would just gather pearls within your, like just stay within your borders, but gather loose pearls. All right, so Red's capital uh, might be this region. That's a lot of victory notifications. Oh, apparently purple just took red's capital. It looks like, because I can't. Yeah, I can't. Because I can't imagine it would be the other way around. Okay, well that being the case, then I guess we can make peace with red. Ozek the chosen. Get ready for winter. It's coming. I know it's quite a few turns, but like I said before, I'm kind of sort of not caring. 
about the cities uh, being maximally efficient. Okay, some Battleborn died. That's... You know, it is how it is. Uh, let us... We know there's another big army nearby, and I didn't actually... I totally didn't look at their casualties. I'm just like, we won! Casualties were probably pretty thorough. Um, let's stay at war with Red for another turn. We'll siege both of these cities for another turn, and then we'll uh, make an attempt to take them. And then we'll uh, go for peace. Maybe I'm being greedy. I don't know. Okay, so we are at 42. That's enough to... buy this. And... Luxury Intensifier. Uh, I don't actually need that to be fast. Oh, we have enough strategics now that we could build one of the other legendaries. Uh, the Reliquary of Origa is available to us. Yeah, I think the reduction of military upkeep cost, and I think this is a good idea. And then we can build a strategic intensifier here, or a luxury intensifier here, because we don't have one in this region yet. And then a burrow here, and it'll be at level two. Okay. Uh, nope, we still have a ton of cities that need me to give them orders. Um, probably... It's unrealistic for me to build an abbey here. Yeah, let's just burrow it over. An Abbey of Anomalies would have been nice, but I just don't think that it's happening. More orcs. I've been playing uh, I've been playing strategy games for a long time. There's very few problems you can't solve with more orcs. Any problem you can't solve with more orcs is a problem that wasn't worth solving in the first place. Yeah, keep going, why not? Look at all of the burrows, man. Alright, so I want to merge these guys up. It actually looks like the Belloc's going to put up more of a fight than Redalta is. Level 2? Well, aren't you a hero? Man, the Necro drones keep dying. And population reduced, and population reduced. And attack. Okay, easy enough. And attack. Ooh. Wait. I didn't attack their first breath vanguard, I attacked Belloc. That's weird. Okay, we didn't actually kill them. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna stay at war with them for one more turn. We're getting this. Karius is getting his levels quickly. That's nice. Uh, what's something that would be... What am I gonna do with this guy? Am I gonna keep him as a general for... foreseeable? I guess he doesn't really have access to any more skills that are... Hmm. This gives his army more health regen? Plus XP per turn. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. All the all the skills are equally not that great. Uh, so now we need to find Purple's capital. Then. So we don't actually have a great feel for where that is. This region wasn't Purple originally. It was something else, then Red took it, then Purple took it from Red. So, down here is probably... I can't remember if this was blue or green originally. 
Um, but the original owner of this region probably is capitaled down here, or like right in the middle of everything, which would have sucked. And if red's capital was maybe up here somewhere, then purple is like on the shore over this way, on the eastern shore of the... It tends to want to spawn you on shores. It doesn't always, but it, it very often does. Oh, hey, we get to join up our army. So yeah, we'll assume that for now, that Purple's army, or Purple's capital is on the eastern shore, although I don't have any idea where on the eastern shore. Uh, Sky, yes, Gathalman is, is building around its triangle, right, I remember that. Who else needs orders? Maribond, I didn't click on Maribond. Oh yeah, Maribond really needs to build. I know we're building right up against the zone border, but I want to level up the uh, strategic intensifier for the extra science. Okay, we're a couple of a couple of technologies in here. Oh no, there is a there totally is an expansion disapproval thing in this area. I knew there was. Let myself talk myself out of believing it. All right, are there any other pearls nearby? Go get these. And you guys get some of that. Alright, I think we are good. As soon as we take Belloc, I'm gonna call off the war with Thread. Oh right, New City's probably uh probably mad. We can put an intensifier on glass steel. I think we're past the point of needing to do that. And we should expend some of our food stockpiles, uh, for sure. So, new city, Rigalto, with all the population, please do not starve. And also, smaller cities. Sure. Okay. So we could actually... I wish that red wasn't on both sides of us. Because I'd like to keep up the war against Red's Eastern Front. Alright. Kill you. Easy. Uh, uh, this guy is level whatever. A lot. Level a lot. Then we have these guys who thought they would attack a necro drone in the forest. I will simply retreat from you. And then let's have a word. Red. How would you feel about a truce? That sounds pretty good to you. Alright, they don't want to give us any cool technology, but they will give us some low level stuff. Uh, and every tech we get pushes us a little further into. Deal with that. We'll take these. There we go. That's three more techs toward the last tech era. That's something. What is this now? Oh. I am at 14. Uh, 14 regions out of 28. Okay. Cool. Um, now that's actually a little inconvenient because Red's probably going to immediately close their borders to us, which is an annoying thing to do to me at this point. Build living lab tools and get a free technology. How? We're actually going to be in the last era in just a second here. Is Redalta a good place to do that? Redalta has a ton of people. They don't like us very much, but they exist. Because this is 132 from tiles. This is 152 from tiles. It should go... Ooh, Dynamics is actually 182 from tiles. Can we build it in Dynage? We need... I can't believe how low we are on the easy resources. Okay. I'm gonna build it in Dynage. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good enough. And it is something that we want anyway. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll rush it when we when we get there. 
Okay, uh, this is a good technology. It's a fine one. Maribond needs to keep building out. I know I said I might automate. I just... The AI is so bad at managing cities. It makes me nervous to automate because the AI is so bad at managing cities. <laughs> yeah, let's start building Inquisitor's Divinities. Red... or er, Purple's gonna keep being a dick. We have to be prepared to counter that. I don't necessarily need to build the Arts Council. It's not a huge um, priority in the cities that are already fervent. Wait, do we already have Inquisitor's Divinity here? Must have been there when we took the city. Well, that's cool. Why don't you build some... Yeah, this seems reasonable. Okay, uh, you guys suddenly don't have as much to do as you did before. Alright, we're going to have to start carving through purple in a couple of minutes here. How's our spy doing? Well, let me let me have a quick look at this. So, in case you're not terribly familiar with the espionage system, what I'm planning to do is use the Steel Vision... Well, maybe. What I could do is I could use the Steel Vision ability uh, to get vision over their armies for four turns as soon as this guy hits level three. That might not show us where the capital is, because they might not have an army by the capital, but the AI tends to love to have a lot of armies running around in its land, and so I have a feeling it might work. The other options that we have with this are we could uh, use Reveal Spy. Um, if we let it go up to level 5, it reveals and wounds all spies of the infiltrated empire within my empire. Or we could drop their morale. At max level, if we let the uh, infiltration level go up to 5, this will do minus 3 morale on all their units for 10 turns, which is a pretty significant amount of combat capability that they lose. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But I do know that when we go to war with purple, it's going to be kind of a problem because the border is huge. They'll be able to attack us in a lot of different places. So I think it really would be best if we had a good idea of their uh, capital's position before we declare. Unfortunately, I'm sure... Oh, it looks like their borders are actually not closed to me right now. I was going to say I'm sure that their borders are close to me, because I'm a necrophage player. Everybody closes their borders to me. But no, apparently not yet. Uh, Belloc, you have a terrible, terrible shape, and also way too many people worried about the thing that is not the thing. It's not the right thing. Let's do these first. And we'll throw a quick... Yeah, you got time. Throw a quick food stockpile in there. We're sure getting a lot of extra population from these cities. Our empire population is probably very, very high. Is there a thing for this? Population. Yep. Purple's is even higher somehow. How's Purple doing on stuff? Alright, Purple has one end air attack already. Uh, they're not really anywhere... Uh, terrifying on the diplomatic victory. 18% on the economic victory is high enough that I'm concerned. But it's not the end of the world, certainly. Uh, you guys... Um... Sure. Looks like we're getting a little bit low on pearls that we know about, but there's... Regions we can't see. Alright, so in Dine Edge, we will rush this as soon as we can afford to. It'll be a few turns, though. And this is closed borders from red, yep. Hmm. And more population decreases. It's weird that Himun was the city that Purple chose. I don't understand why exactly. Is our ownership of this city complete yet? Yeah. And it's not, it's naturally not at high enough happiness. So this will be our first Arts Council. That seems perfectly reasonable to me. 
uh, we're all building stuff in lots of other places. So we have to find and execute Purple's capital before Purple closes out the game in any other way. I don't foresee this being a problem. I think I think we've got this. Swing through that pearl. And we have a lot of units, and we have a lot of ability to project force. What we probably want to do is, if we make war on purple, uh, we want to have one of these armies break off and play sort of zone defense. Maybe, like, sit around Laris. Laris is built so close out to purple's territory that it actually is probably a target. Uh, yeah, do the thing I told you to do. You guys, I guess, just... Go, go to Laris and join the garrison. Yeah, here we go. It's a bunch of tiles that nobody's been using at all. And there's a region over here. I do actually value this little move just because it shows me something about what's going on over here because I don't actually know. Oh, an empire plan. This would be a fine time for this. We have 2907, so we can do this too. Yeah, that seems fine. That's just about all of our. Uh... Yeah, feeds on bones, doesn't have to pick that up. What am I thinking? Uh, he may as well pick up 20 plus 20% 20 defense for himself. That seems okay. Level 12. Wow, there are so many red guys in my territory all of a sudden. I'm not really sure where I want to breach Purple's border. I'm a little concerned that the moment I do, they're going to freak and close everything down. I guess we'll have to see. Keep, the spice must flow. Keep that going. How's this thing's cost coming? 76, 75. And we do have to keep manually instructing these people from time to time. Oh, wow. Marabond Mar actually was missing a ton of, like, essential infrastructure. And then keep building for us. Actually, it is true that we just got, uh, we just got access to a thing, the Geomic Labs. Uh, Alright, let's do that. It adds it to the end of the tab when you use the NQ in all cities uh, function, which basically makes NQ in all cities not uh, useful. And also, it's so rarely the case, like, really only in this case where you get a building, you get a tech in the late game that gives you a building that doesn't require resources. It's, like, really the only time that you would ever want to use that in the first place. There's a thing of some limited usefulness. Um, I guess just, yeah. Let's have the armies ready, right? We want to have the garrisons full. The troops can be retrofitted at a moment's notice. Hopefully won't have to be, but can be. Uh, and this is this is my plan for surviving Purple's counterattack. Honestly, Purple's counterattack isn't even that scary, even if they do take a city or something, because remember, all we have to do is not lose our capital. Provided, of course, that we our aggressive campaign is successful and we do take theirs. Yep. This stuff is unfortunately not building up as fast as the cost. Actually, we've stopped expanding, so we're at 80 now. It takes 80 uh, luxuries for us to boost. Moon finally managed to root out the spy by themselves. And here's a big purple army. Okay, these demons have a lot more attack, even though they're the same design, so I'm assuming this hero has army attack boost. Army boost 2, army damage boost 2. Interesting. 
unarmored Teddy Ks, although they are. I mean, they're just getting stats from the hero. Uh, ooh, these Rider 2s have a lot of damage, actually. Okay, so purple has purple has high damage riders. That's a that's the thing we have to be worried about when we attack. So we can see a couple enemy cities. You know what? I think actually this is a little shorter than the episodes usually are, but I think actually we're gonna call it here. I'm going to begin the campaign against purple in earnest. Ah, they took that red city over there. Well, we're the only reason red's alive now, so they should love us. Uh, I'm going to begin my campaign against purple in earnest tomorrow in the next video. So come back then to see that, the two titans of Origa crashing against one another. And uh, we'll see you then.